In this problem, we have a steel tie bar, which is 1.1 meters long, 50 mils in diameter, and subjected to a tensile force of 240 kilonewtons. We have to determine the stress in the bar, the extension, the change in diameter, and the change in volume of the bar. First, we'll draw a little diagram. So it'll be a solid circular bar which has length of 1.1 meters subjected to a tensile load of 240 kilonewtons and the diameter of the bar is 50 millimeters. To recap the equations we're going to use, stress is equal to force divided by area, strain is equal to change in length delta x over original length L0, Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain, Poisson's ratio is equal to minus the lateral strain divided by the longitudinal strain. For the first part, determine the stress in the bar. So stress is given by force divided by area. The force we have is 240 kilonewtons cross-sectional area for a circle, the area of a circle, given by pi d squared over 4. Careful in this case, we want to change the load from kilonewtons into newtons by multiplying by an extra thousand. And we can fill in the value for the diameter, which is 50. So pi times 50 squared over 4 and that will give us a stress of 122.23 newtons per millimeter squared. Part two of our problem is to determine the extension. Normally we would use the strain as equal to the change in length over original length, but to work out the change in length, we have, we need the original length and the strain. We only have the original length, not the strain, so we have to use something else to calculate the strain first. And we can calculate the strain from the fact that Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain, or rearranging it, the strain is equal to the stress divided by Young's modulus. We have the stress value calculated in part one. 122.23 divide that by Young's modulus given in the question as 200 kilonewtons per millimeter squared our stress is given in newtons per millimeter squared so before we can divide one by the other we have to have a consistent set of units, both top and bottom. So the 200 kilonewtons on the bottom has to be multiplied by a thousand to make it into newtons per millimeter squared. Now we've got a consistent set of units, top and bottom of our calculation. Then we can calculate the strain, 6.111 times 10 to negative four. With this strain value, 
we can then use the equation for strain, changing length over original length, or rearranging this equation, changing length is equal to the strain multiplied by the original length, L0. Strain we have 6.111 times 10 to negative 4, multiplied by the original length, 1.1 meters, but we'll keep it in millimeters by multiplying by an extra thousand. That will give us the change in length to be 0 0.67 millimeters. Next part. Part 3 is to calculate the change in diameter. And for this we're going to use Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio is equal to the minus the lateral strain divided by the longitudinal strain. The lateral strain is the strain that's going to affect the diameter. Rearranging our equation for a lateral strain. Lateral strain will be minus Poisson's ratio times longitudinal strain. Longitudinal strain we have already calculated. That's the strain in the direction of the applied force. Shown at the top of the page, 6.111 times 10 to the negative 4. Poisson's ratio is given in the question as being a value of 0 0.3. Multiply our two values together and that will give us our lateral strain. This is the strain that's going to affect the change in diameter. Minus 1.833 times 10 to the negative 4. In this case, the lateral strain is going to affect the diameter of a bar. And similarly with the equation we have for strain, change in length over original length, here the lateral strain will, cha will be change in diameter over the original diameter. Rearrange our equation, delta D, change in diameter, is going to be the lateral strain multiplied by the original diameter. Fill our values in, minus 1.833 times 10 to negative 4 times our original diameter, which was 50 mils, and we get minus 9.167 times 10 to minus 3 millimeters because our original diameter is given in millimeters or we can rewrite this as delta D is minus 0 0.0092 millimeters a very small change in the diameter The last part of this problem is to work out the change in volume. So for that, we need to work out the original volume. The shape is essentially a cylinder for which the volume equation will be pi r squared times h. We will need to work out the volume initially before any load is applied and then work out the volume after the load is applied. The load will affect the length and will also affect the diameter. Subtracting the two volumes will get the change in the volume and that's required. So part four, 
calculate the change in volume or original volume using the dimensions originally given the equation pi r squared times h pi diameter of 50 we'll divide that by 2 and squared that will give us the radius and keeping the lengths consistent the diameter and hence the radius being in millimetres the length should also be in millimetres as well so 1100 millimetres and that will give us a volume of 2,159,844.95 millimetres cubed. Now to calculate our new volume, we will use the same equation, pi r squared times h, pi we have the change in diameter given as 0 0.0092 so we're going to take the diameter take off the change in diameter divide that by 2 that will effectively give us the new radius and we'll square that and for the height or essentially the length normally it was 1100 millimeters but we know that it had increased by 0 0.67 millimeters in length. So the diameter has reduced slightly, hence the radius will, will reduce slightly, but there, there will be an increase in the length. Working that through, 2,160,365.26 millimeters cubed. Then finally, to work out the change in volume, delta V will be the new volume, subtract the original volume using the two values we have, 2,160,365.26. Subtract 2,159,844.95, both values being a millimetre squared, and that will give us a change in volume of 520.31 millimetres cubed.